What did I get myself into? Welcome back to Nana Projects. So we got the drivetrain out, rebuilding the engine, transmission. We need to make sure this thing is structurally sound. Well, I know it's not structurally sound. We need to make it so it is. So while the engine is out, and while I'm working on that, I'm going to go ahead and tear out all the cabinetry and these upper storage areas so that I can get at the roof, tear down this vernier so that I can get to the actual wood structure because as you can see over here, we're gonna need to be replacing a fair amount of wood and I have no idea what the extent of the damage is until the roof comes out. So that's the goal today. I'm gonna get cracking on that and I'll bring you guys back once I uh, make some good progress. All right, I've made a little bit of progress. Just not that we can kind of get an idea of what we're working with. So you can see back here, actually this vent is broken, but I think it was only recently broken. You can see this wood's actually in really great shape. That wood as well. I mean, obviously we're gonna rip all this out there. I mean, it looks like mice got up here. You can see, ate up all the insulation. So we're gonna have to address that. Back here is the worst of it. You see these metal supports are a little crusty. I mean, they're not bad. They're definitely okay to use, but you can see this wood is totally rotted. This wood is not in the best of shape either. And also all the way over here, there's obviously the moisture wicked down over to this area. This, uh, like, veneer and plywood and stuff is water-soaked. So it's all going to need replacing. But yeah, so this cabinet is close to coming out. I just got to, there's, I think it's screwed into the uh, cabinetry over there. Same story in this one. But yeah, I'm going to keep on ripping. All right, so we got some decent progress. You can see we got those cabinets down. I think we may end up actually leaving those cabinets out just for the extra space. We may actually end up having some other plans back here, sleeping wise, but that's kind of besides the point right now. Just need to address the structure currently. But yeah, you can see this, all this wood's gonna need to replace. It's pretty rotted. And if I didn't show this before, this wall, pretty messed up. But this is why you can see this was once one piece. It is no longer, so we're gonna be replacing all that. So th the whole kitchen area is gonna need to come out from the wall, basically, along with the bathroom, unfortunately. But it is what it is, so that's what I'll be doing next. S and then we'll also get the ceiling down. If I didn't show it before, there's a little bit of water damage in that front area, but nothing we can't take care of, but yeah. Down in here, it looks like we have what's actually asbestos um, insulation. It's not, it doesn't feel like fiberglass, so I'm sure this is asbestos, given that it's a 72. So I'm gonna start wearing a good respirator just for safety. And uh, yeah, so I think next we're gonna be tearing kitchen, bathroom out from the wall along with this area so that we can address that wall. This is also going to come down. In fact, we may end up doing that first. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back when I have something new. All right, guys, so I'm kind of thinking that it's going to be easiest to repair all the wall water damage by peeling back this wall rather than trying to go from the inside. You can see it's pretty solid over here, actually. But over here, it gets really flimsy. And this siding is just like a... I think it's a tin. I don't know if it's like a sheet aluminum or actually sheet tin or something i have no idea really to be honest with you but i think that might be our best bet because trying to reframe from the inside might be kind of a tough job because i don't want to have to remove the bathroom area and the kitchen area because just from removing those cabinets i'm seeing that you pretty much need to kind of destructively remove stuff in order to get it out you can't really unscrew everything it wasn't built to 
you know, be restored 45 years later or whatever. Battery died there, so I'm not sure exactly what you guys missed. But I did figure out I'm going about this wrong, upside down. You are supposed to remove the lower tin and work your way up from what I am saying because these slot into the groove of the upper one, but the groove of the upper one is stapled in. So you have to be able to remove the staples in order to get it to come out. Anyways, yeah, so I removed this lower one over here, and now I'm working on this lowermost piece over here. Um, the wood on this bottom part is totally rotted away, so, which makes sense because it's exposed, actually. I'm surprised they used wood, but, so I shouldn't need to remove this, um, I don't know what you'd call it, the bar that attaches the tin to the wood frame, except for that far bolt, it bolts to the metal part of the actual chassis and for some reason the nut is seized so I'm gonna have to use the angle so just in case you guys missed anything from it dying that's where I'm at all right we had a little bit of a windstorm so push this in and you can see it looks like some birds decided that was a good place to rest but now that we're at this point I think I'm going to try to remove the whole wall framing so that we can lay it down and use it kind of like a template for the new framing that we're going to make. I don't think it's going to be that hard. I think we just need to, uh, you know, remove this from the wood. I think it's just connected back here, which we're going to have to tear this out too. We got damage back there. And then, I don't know exactly how flashing is connected, but we'll have to see. I think if we just undo those nails maybe. Along here, I think it's already free for the most part. And then over here, we just need to obviously pull it back from whatever it's attached to on the back side. Uh, there's a frame back there, or a stud, or whatever they call it in RV world, with a pry bar, and uh, hopefully it'll come down. So I'm gonna get you guys set up, and I'll get going on that. All right, guys, the wall's off somewhat retained the framing it's gonna be a little bit tricky to piece it back together but we'll figure it out one step at a time found some mouse house nice ah, some more uh furry friends passed away many years ago okay so this is nice we can get it all our plumbing and electrical and looks like there's plenty of things we're gonna need to fix that we wouldn't have been able to without popping the whole wall off like that and yeah i know it would have been easier to, if i took the water heater out first i kind of mangled it i should be able to reshape it given that this thing even works i don't know uh so that we can put it back in i just it's nasty in there you see all the dead mice and stuff so i figured i'd just bend this deal with it later than crawling on my back under the sink trying to unhook all the plumbing but maybe you think different <laughs> but it worked we're getting close to uh rebuilding but a little bit more tear down. Okay, so with the wall down, making a pretty good mess. But with that down, we're I think we need to remove the appliances now because the kitchen area needs some work and obviously some cleaning in the water tank. Certainly, if it's uh, savable, I don't know. But it definitely needs cleaned out. So I think we're going to start off by removing the water heater, the range. We probably can get away with leaving the sink in. I don't know what we're going to end up doing if we're going to replace the countertop or anything. That should be doable from the inside with the wall in. And right now, I just want to get the structure dealt with, really. And also, I'm guessing we're going to have to tear down the other wall. So that's going to be a little bit more involved. Let's just uh, keep going. All right, let's just held in with this water line, which we probably want to replace all of the line. The water smells suspect to say the least that's good now we got a little bit more access get behind here there's the water pump get a little bit more access to the water heater so i think we'll take that out next there's our hot water lines i believe coming out huh you know it's weird this pipe has a date code of april 2nd 93 so the plumbing must have been redone at some point well and 93 or some time after the wood frame doesn't look horrible Except for this piece, obviously, but, I mean, it's workable. I don't know exactly if we're retaining all this original design. I think we probably will, just for 
ease of rebuilding. But with the range out, we can get access to the roof a little bit better up by that vent. You can see that part I couldn't tear down because the range was in the way. Now the big, last big question on this side pretty much is access to the roof with the bathroom. I was hoping I wouldn't have to take the bathroom out because I mean you can see it's pretty, it's not an easy job. But it's kind of looking like I'm going to need to because let me bring you up inside. Yeah, it's a mess in here. You can see that vent has been leaking and the wood's rotted. So we need to access the roof above the bathroom. And really the only way to do it is to take the bathroom out because it goes to the roof. At least as far as I can see. Yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like to me. I guess we also need to remove the upper cabinet over there. You see we got water damage. All these support bars they're gonna need probably ground down and painted or rust protected in some way. Yeah, big job. One thing I'm curious about is how they actually make these things. I'd be interested to see the timeline because I mean, you gotta think about it. Most of this stuff is not gonna fit in here with the walls on. Because the door is, well, you know, two feet wide, maybe. So, they must have put all this stuff in and then put the wall up and on, like I'm doing. Which would make sense, I guess. I don't see how else they'd be able to do it. They certainly don't build it in place, I don't think. Meaning they don't put it on after the walls. Because they got to access all the plumbing and all that, so. I think we're on the right track. <sighs> what did I get myself into? Alright, so after some thinking on it, and this is clearly scope creep, but hey, it's not a real project if you don't have that, right? I think we are just going to go ahead and do a complete interior teardown. I was kind of hoping before to retain most of the original cabinetry and whatnot, but you can see... I'm not real thrilled with how cheap the construction is. We've got some water damage in places, and I really don't like the veneer that they have on there. Which, I mean, you could paint over, but we're this far, <laughs> and we're going to have to take the bathroom out. Which I don't think is going to be the worst job in the world, because I don't think it's... I think it's just sitting in there. It's not actually secured. So we're just going to have to undo the plumbing to get it out. So that's probably going to be the next step. And then also... I think we're just going to demo the whole kitchen cabinetry. I'll probably cut, because this PVC is all glued, obviously. I think I'll cut the um, drain, sink drain over here, so that if we do end up retaining this design, which I think we likely will, we can just add a coupler or, you know, rework it from there. Yeah, I think I'm going to start taking the kitchen out so we can access this side of the bathroom. This wall separating the driver area and the bathroom obviously is going to be coming out. And also guys, I mean, this plywood, we could probably get away with reusing it, but it's probably soaked in, you know, mouse pee and who knows what else. So the smell, it just didn't actually smell that bad, but you never know what's going to happen once it's all sealed up. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to get cracking on that. Well, that opened things up. Whew. <sighs> it's heavier than it looks. So here we are. So uh, we were successfully retained the structure of the of the kitchen if we want to copy it. So that's a plus. Here's the gas line that was coming up. This is the drain tube for the water tank. Now let's take off this wall slash cabinet so that we can get a little bit more access uh, to the bathroom. Getting a little ominous. <clears throat> Alright, so this is, I forgot about this, the um, cabinet wraps around and covers up the bathroom. So we're going to have to figure out how to separate this 
from this side. Or we could take the back out and leave this front face part on. Hmm, yeah, let's do that. That way we can kind of get a little better leverage over here. I think we're probably going to need to remove this. Well, I don't know. We'll see. No telling until we tear into it. Yeah, we're making a good mess. Well, I guess you couldn't see most of that, but that's okay. You can see the storm's coming up on us, but very close on in here. What I've been working on is getting this, I guess, facade, or I don't know what you'd call it, um, off of the bathroom. And you see the bathroom is just a fiberglass shell, but it was nailed into this, these boards and covered with these uh, aluminum strips. So I had to take all the nails out and now it's starting to separate. I think what's holding this up is over here where it connects to this wall behind the driver. So we just need to pry those boards apart and I think we'll be good. Although, I mean, you see it's getting windy and the storm's coming, so maybe I'll be taking a break for a little bit. All right, it's the next day, so let's go ahead and finish getting this bathroom out. I wonder if we'll actually be able to leave the uh, bathroom in. Well, I don't know. No, never mind. We're going to be trying, hopefully, to leave the fiberglass shell in place and then rebuild under it, but I don't know how feasible that's going to be. This may be a complete and total teardown, but we'll see. The thing is, is we could take the ceiling down and repair the rotten wood because there's really not a lot of wood in the ceiling. Um, but we would still have the rusty steel frame to deal with. And also, I don't know how we would put a new ceiling back up. I'm kind of thinking maybe shiplap would be cool on this thing. But obviously, we're a ways from that at this point. But anyways, I don't know how, that we, how we would install that if we didn't pull the bathroom out first so i think it's got to come out all right and sorry i'm wearing a mask there we go so i'm gonna clear this out i think the last thing holding the bathroom in other than the sink drain line i do know that we have to take that out uh, i think the tank for the black water goes straight up into the toilet so the toilet's got to come out i believe So I'm just going to clear everything out. Oh man, it's, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not going to film, well I'm going to film, I'm not going to, you know, handheld this because, gross. Oh, it's loose. Interesting. I don't use these wrenches a lot, but when you need them, they're real handy. And you know what, the tank is empty. And it doesn't look that bad. Nice. Yeah, it looks real clean. That's awesome. I was uh, ready for whatever 10 years does the raw sewage. Oh, yeah. All right, we got that ring off, and that's all that was really holding it to the floor. And we have the outer skin that was holding it to the floor and walls. So now we just need to undo the sink drain and also probably remove the electrical panel. But beyond that, I think we'll be good to tip it and take it out of here. We'll have to tip it, scoot it over this way where there's no pipes in the way and pull it out. So. A little bit of investigation, I think I figured out how to get these drains off. Obviously undid the P-trap and then just unthreads, easy as that. Guess I didn't really need to take off the uh, sink one, but hey. There we go. Let's hope the shower one comes off as easy as that. I need two hands. Oh, it looks like the drain actually will turn out from the inside. So let's think. How did this unthread? Yeah, so it should be normal thread. 
for the sink drains. Okay, so let's try doing that for the shower drain. Give me a second set of plaques. Alright, I've got the sink and shower drains taken off. The shower one, I think I showed you guys me trying to take it off. It was just real tight, so I ended up having to use a second plier to, you know, take it off. So, I think it's totally free now. I'm going to try to slide it over uh, there and just see if I can get it out. It's not that heavy, so let's see if I can go. All right, I enlisted some help to get the bathroom removed. So, now we have pretty much everything on the driver's side torn out. I guess I will just set you guys up. We'll blitz through removal of the appliances and cabinetry on the passenger side. And then we'll have full access to the roof, walls, and floor. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Holy crap, that scared me. I don't know if you guys saw that, but a bird it looks like a baby bird. Say like I just disturbed a nest. Awesome. Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. Well, shoot, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a birdologist, and I didn't get a very good look at the bird. So I don't know if it was a an adult or not. Hopefully it's not a little baby. I hear movement. <laughs> uh, I don't want to disturb the nest, but I do really need to get this torn down. Shoot. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll move away from that area and over here. Okay, probably we need to remove the fridge first. Ugh, look at all these horrible drawers now. Do probably need to remove that cover. So, let me see what you Plug that. Oof. That is nasty. Okay, we gotta unhook the gas line, I guess. That opened up the situation quite a bit. So I guess the question is, do I care if we just cut this in half? That'll make it easier to take out. I would call most of this wood uh, tainted. Probably, it's probably soaked in mouse urine. So, I mean, we're gonna have to be rebuilding from the ground up pretty much. Yeah, it's just cut, I guess. You can see, at least over here, this wall isn't as bad. We got some suspect boards i mean and i'm really not a fan of the whole staple construction that they did but you know the wood is not that rotten let's pull back the ceiling let's see what we're working with under there also we're going to need to figure out how to take these out they're drilled from the top down so might take some careful pry bar work yeah you can see this wood isn't nearly as bad as the other side other side it basically wasn't wood anymore this side it's not great. Definitely more structure though. That's good, I guess. Lots of bird nests that we're finding now. That's fun. Let's get the cabinet over there down. Well, we got one out intact at least, I guess. Do need to get our heater out. Along with, I think that's the battery charger, batteries charger. Whatever you want to call it. All right, we got the exhaust. Okay. That is everything right here, at least, for the most part. We'll need to pull the electric stuff out. Let's finish pulling off the cladding over here. So at least from what I'm seeing so far, I don't think we're going to have to go as extreme as we did on the other side because a lot of this wood looks okay. And honestly... I kind of wish we would have gone this route on the other side, but I mean, it was really far gone, so I don't even know if it would have worked. Let me know what you guys think, because I'm sure this video is going to be separate from when we're rebuilding. So, I mean, again, I am going at this with zero experience in RV stuff. I've done carpentry and stuff, but let me know if you guys have any suggestions beyond it's not savable, because I know it's not exactly cost effective, but it's what we're doing. So yeah, let's keep going. This must have been the nest that the bird came out of. I kind of forgot about that. You can see just how rotten that was. I can just pull it up by hand. Okay, obviously we got some serious cleanup to do. But I think, at least in the way of cabinetry and whatnot, we just need to remove this seat slash dining 
room area. Alright, let's get started on this. Uh, I would like to kind of keep it intact because I do like the design. So, either reuse it or rebuild it out of new wood. So, I'm going to try to, you know, not demolish it as much as I can, but we'll see what happens. That came out pretty easy. I'm happy with that. I did notice this cartridge filter. That's weird. I don't know what that's for. Okay, I'm going to need a hand getting that out. But until we do that, let's take this last wall out, and then I think we're going to be completely free. Everything I have is going to be out. So, yeah. Maybe the last thing we'll do before cleaning up is tear down the ceiling. Well, the rest of the ceiling. We already got most of it. Just this section, because it makes a pretty huge mess. And then we will move everything heavy out. I'll get a hand with that, and then start cleaning, I guess. actively wet. So I think next I am going to get some help clearing out the inside of the RV and then I'm going to peel back this tin and then I mean we'll pretty much have a complete idea of what we're working with here. Alright I started cleaning everything up. We're making progress especially on the inside. The interior wall is all torn down. So um, I think I'm going to finish cleaning it up and then we will tear the siding off the back of the side. You guys saw me tear the wall out. It's pretty much cleaned up. So now at this point, I am just gonna get together a list of what we need to get to. All right, so we made a lot of progress on tearing down the RV, as you saw. We made a lot more progress than I was hoping we would need to, but it is what it is. If you've got any tips, suggestions, whatever, throw them down in the comments. I'm also ready for the, uh, oh, you gotta throw that thing away, it's so far gone comments, because we're not, we're gonna do it. I know it's too far gone, but we're gonna get it done, so. I'm ready for those. Throw them down if you want to. We got a little bit more tear down we got to do. We got to pop up all the subfloor. Most of the plywood has been exposed to water and rat, whatever, who knows. I just want to get the structure done and then we can deal with everything else after that. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.